Hey guys, Lavi here from No Respawn with Star Ocean Part 2, and uh, yeah, we're going to continue on. But before we do that, as you can tell, I leveled up to level 7 uh, because I went too far, and obviously, you know, that wasn't the right thing to do, but uh, hey, you know, extra levels couldn't hurt, right? So uh, I recommend that to you guys. Go, go level. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, cutscene, I guess. You called for us, sir? Ah, Roddy. Good to see you here. We've got trouble. Take a look at this. A letter came in earlier. Send help immediately. Mystery outbreak in Cool Village. Residents suffering from high fever. Mayor Cool Village. <laughs> they call him May Mayor Cool. So what do we do? We go help them out. That's what. The herbs that grow on the peak of Mount Matarx ought to do the trick. Wait! <gasps> Father! Leave this matter to me. Matarx, will you go on our behalf? Yes. I don't think we have much to worry about with this mystery outbreak. <laughs> well... If the best healer in all of Kratis is on the job, it'd be a tremendous relief to all of us. I'll be back in a little while, all right? Stay away from Mount Maytox. It's too dangerous for you. Psh, you don't even know what I got. Bitch don't know about my pylons. <laughs> Why'd they kick me out? I don't stink that bad. Fuck it, I'm going in. Bastards, I don't smell at all. Jesus Christ. Well, I'm off. <laughs> Have a good night. Ah, oh, come on, Captain. I don't stink that bad. Stay a while and listen. Yes, sir. We'll let you know if anything's up. <clears throat> come on, guys. Lighten up a bit. Millie, I know how you feel, but Roddick, you've been acting weird lately. What's wrong? You can tell us. <sighs> Two days later. Come on, do something. Father still hasn't come back. I've got to find him. You're not going, all right? He said he'd call us if he needed us. But, but I can't just sit around and wait anymore. I think you can. Erotic. Hey, Pidgey, what's up? All right, be a bitch. But what's it say? A powerful disease has struck cool. My methods are powerless against it, and even worse. I'm afraid I've contracted the disease myself. Casual skin contact is enough to spread the illness. It incubates for about an hour, but after it develops, the infected turn into stone in about three days' time. I, can, I, I think that's there herpes. There is no hope for cool. Do not approach it under any circumstances. Martoth, Cliet. Yeah, that's herpes. Millie, wait! She's gonna head for cool all by herself. We've gotta stop her. Or else she'll be untouchable. By God. We're going for her. We're not gonna lose that. I mean, she might be annoying and bipolar. I mean, from the first video, you could tell she was weird and annoying. Yeah. Oh, well. Personally, I'd be like, bitch, calm the fuck down. Holy crap. What's wrong, Dorn? Nothing. It's nothing. I'm just getting a little fat, is all. Bastard needs to lay off the cookies. Oh, 
uh, the magical world of whatever the place is. This place is called. I don't know what it's called, to be honest. Here they come! Oh God, they're they thieves! Come. Good job, Brodick. He already said that, so you didn't have to repeat him. Boom! Look at that. That's what happens when you level. Spectacles acquired. Good job. We're almost there, bro. Bro, bro. Bro, bro, bro. God, this isn't good. Slow down, you crazy broad. There's Millie. After her. Yeah, why stop and stare at her run while you while you could run and stare at her while you're chasing after? Come on now, multitask, people. Hey, uh, that guy's stoned. <laughs> wow, all these people are stoned. Damn. And yes, let's do this real quick as well. You get those well as you level. What kind of mother lets her children get stoned? Seriously. And more berries. This game is all about the berries, yo. Stay away from me. No matter what you do, don't touch me. I've been touched in very inappropriate places. Father. I am done for, Millie. I have been violated. And you won't let me sit by your side, Father? I can't even hold your hand? <laughs> How can something like this happen? <laughs> With bad voice acting, that's how. Roderick, Dawn, can you take my daughter back to town for me? Millie, let's go. Millie! Well, shucks. I'm sorry, guys. About what? Wait. Dorn? Planning to go off by yourself? I think she was. Uh. You're going to pick some herbs off the peak of Mount Matorx, aren't you? Wow. Doesn't take a genius to see what you're thinking. Yeah, you thought of it. But listen, you can't go into that hornet's nest. Not by yourself. <sighs> I'm sorry. Come on, quit pouting. Huh? It'll be okay. Your dad'll be fine once we get those herbs. Don't you lie to her, Brock. Yeah. Misty? <sighs> but... Misty? This is terrible. I can't stand seeing you sad like this. Get off of Ash's game, Brock. Dorn? Misty, don't. Millie, I want you to know something. No. I... No, Brock. I... Oh, look at that. He's getting hard. Dorn? Dorn, what's wrong? Are you alright? Get away from me. I don't like women. N no, sorry. <laughs> That's what he was trying to tell I'm her. I'm fine. It's nothing. But you're... Hold tight just a minute. I'll go find someone. Oh, that someone better not be me. Please don't be me. Dorn just collapsed. Oh, it would be me. Uh, every time something comes up, what's the first thing out of her mouth? Rotic. Rotic. Rotic, baby. Yeah, because I rotic her world. Rotic, come with me. Dorn's in trouble. Right, let's go. I just thought of something. I'm just gonna do this for right now. Uh, I <laughs> uh. Here we go. Let's fix your name. Uh, that is so inappropriate. Uh, I'll fix that though, I promise. 
Uh, I really promise. Are you alright? Huh? What do you mean? You... But I just saw you... Stop jumping to conclusions. I was just a little lightheaded, that's all. I told you it was nothing. Roddick, don't you think we ought to go pick some herbs at the peak of Mount Matorx? That ought to be just the thing for Millie's dad. <clears throat> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> no. Matorx lies due north of Cool. We'll need to watch ourselves. You said it. That's Fellworm territory up there. See, this is probably why this kid hates his, his life. Because he has a name like that. Roddick. Roddick. <laughs> Roddick. How very inappropriate. I apologize. It just had to be done. There you go. You're almost there. Follow the yellow brick road. No, a battle. Here they come. Our little Let's bunnies. Go. Hello, bunnies. Yeah. 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 Holy come on, come shit! On. Fucking bastard likes to jump. Longer. Oh well. All right, we're almost to town. Yeah. I gotta go back into that one house though to get that treasure chest because once you go in there it's a cutscene. You can get it beforehand too. Before um before you go back and uh get that mission from that old or the captain. Yeah. So as long as you don't see that cutscene where his dad or Millie's dad's like, hey, I'll go instead. You you should be able to get it beforehand. If uh you already saw that, you went too far, but it's all good. Holy shit, what did I do? I was talking about it and I didn't even go back to get it. See, that's what I get. Alright, there you go. Frickin' Roddick. Frickin' Roddick. There you go. Roddick, marry my daughter! There you go. Now we're making some progress. Who what, who knows what lies beyond these mountains? I don't know. We'll find out maybe. I think so. We should. Oh yeah, the twists and turns. Holy shit. It's a fight. Here they come. Hang in there everyone. No, you hang in there. If you don't heal us, then you're just a terrible healer. Damn, I attack for a shit ton more than this guy. Am I one-handed? The power is flowing in me! While he's like, patting his ass. Oh, there we go, we're here. Watch out, guys! This place is swarming with fell worms. Ah, uh, they lay their eggs on you if you don't, or if you get too close, don't they? It can get nasty if those eggs hatch. Just throwing that out there. Not that I would be dumb enough to get those eggs on me. You, on the other hand, holy shit! It's a fucking huge worm. Here they come! Hang in there, everyone. That, is, that looks like a fucking huge roly poly, and I wouldn't want to fucking live in a world with, with insects that are like the size of a fucking golden that retriever. That's that nasty. Ugh. That is just nasty. Can you imagine that? Are you guys alright? Yep. Make sure to brush off any fell worm eggs. Don't worry, I know. They wouldn't be such a problem if they didn't hatch so fast. Yeah. Don't talk. Oh, Perotic. Don't say my name. Alright. Can you imagine a giant snail just on your body? Ugh. Ugh. 
What's that? Wah! That is disgusting. That's all I gotta say. Firestorm blade. Firestorm blade. That one was easy. That one was easy. I bet you it was. I bet you it was. Oh, it's a nice uh, day or night out for a walk, actually. And actually, I wouldn't mind going for a walk. Oh, shit. They just love the smell of Roddick. <laughs> we have company. Here they come. Don't worry, kids. There's enough Roddick for everyone. <laughs> oh, my God. That is not right. There we go. <coughs> you all right? Don't touch me. What? I'm just worried about you. You don't have to yell at me like that. No, it's nothing. Don't worry about me. Come on, guys. If you guys haven't figured it out yet, come on. Wait, you didn't catch the I must have caught it when I touched that carrier pigeon. I, I didn't mean it. It was the bird. It was attractive. You're sick. Oh no. We better go back home. No, I'm fine. I haven't started turning into stone yet. But... I said I'm fine. I'm sorry, but I'm fine, really. Besides, those herbs will cure me anyway, right? Let's get moving. Oh, frickin' Doric. I think that's his name. Oh, well. Adventure! Cutscene? <sighs> <sighs> the flower that we need oh. I thought there wasn't supposed to be anyone here there weren't any life forms here captain when I scanned the area who are you what do you want have you come here to take the herbs away from us where did you come from Look, you don't have to be so... Stay where you are! Uh, ...so afraid. Uh... Well, that didn't work. Who are you? Where are you from? You're dressed really weird and I don't trust you! Well, you see, my name is Ronix J. Kenny. How can I explain this so it makes sense? Captain, huh? allow me. <sighs> my name's Elia Silvestri. And please, before you say anything, I want you to know that we're not your enemy. We're here to help you. Uh... uh -huh. Before you say anything, I want to let you know that we are not your enemy. All I want you to know is your voice sounds weird. Really? Well, they sure aren't our friends. Not these strangers. If they were... Yeah, well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. We're here to pick some of the herbs off of this mountain. That's all. I should tell you that these herbs won't stop anyone from turning into stone. How... who are you? More interested in listening to us now? All right, go. I'm sure you won't believe us at first, but we've come from a place far, far away to save all of you. So why didn't you come sooner then? We can't make direct contact with civilizations in the early stages of development. It's part of the Underdeveloped Planet Preservation Pact. Early stages of development? We came here from beyond the sky, from another planet. We're making something of a special exception to the rule, you see. Beyond the sky? Another planet? Are you gods? No, we're not gods. We're people, just like you. Well, except without the tails. Oh, wow! Lazonia, 
A force opposing our own broke the underdeveloped planet preservation pact recently and engaged in direct interference with this planet. As if that weren't bad enough, they also fired a biological weapon at you. Rele Raising the contagion that spread across this whole area. So we're turning into stone and it's because of those Lazonia guys? Correct. I can't believe this! We've been sent here to examine the disease and try to find a treatment for it. So you see, we've come here to help you. Probably in ways you've never imagined. I still can't believe any of this, but can you really help with the cure? I can't really believe it either. But if you're able to save our friend here... If you come with us and help us in creating a vaccine, we should be able to cure him. Vaccine? God, you're uh, dumb. A miracle medicine, sort of. Well then, there's something you ought to know before we go any further. If you folks decide to come with us, you'll probably never see this planet again. Why not? That's what the rules say. If you interact with us too much, we can't let you go back to your original life. That's another part of the underdeveloped planet preservation pact. Now, if you'd like, we could go our separate ways and you could pretend this was all some kind of fever dream. There is still time for that. Well, I'm going with these guys. All I've got waiting for me here is life as a statue. You can't do that. You want me to choose between losing you forever or losing my father and everyone else forever? Don't make me do that, Dorn. Millie, let's go with Dorn too. I'm sorry to break this to you, but there's just nothing we can do if we stay here. I know it's hard leaving everyone you know in Kratos, but we've got a bigger job ahead. We're going to save everybody. Plus, I wouldn't mind getting the hell off this rock. Well, it's settled then. Might as well get going. Close your eyes for a moment, please. Huh? Engage! Oh, this game? It's Star Trek. Don't care what you say. It's Star Trek. Hmm. What was that? You got teleported, bitch. Where are we? In a ship. This is our ship. You really are gods. We're not gods. We've just advanced a little sooner than you, that's all. You can have all this for yourselves too someday. <sighs> yeah, just give yourselves like a couple of million years. Well, let's get him over to sick bay. Floor. It's moving. And that door back there opened by itself. Incredible. I've never seen anything like this before. I just realized I haven't asked any of your names yet. My name is Roddick Ferentz. I'm Millie Cliet. Dorn uh, Myrtle. Captain, his condition's deteriorating. Better hurry then. Let's start walking. What's this? I guess this must be surprising to you, but this is how we treat sick people. See what you can do for him, Doctor. Yes, sir. Well, no point in having you hang around here. How would you like a tour of the ship? Captain, that would be a violation of the Preservation Pact. Well, it's a little late for that, isn't it? I'll be on the bridge. You show them around for me. Okay? What? I'm stuck with these losers! Captain! Why would you do something? Like this! To me! Oh, brother. God, I hate these people. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. With that, we're going to save here, stop here, and... Make sure to sub, comment, uh, do all the good stuff, you know, because, uh, 
we like you guys and uh, it gives us the energy that we need to keep uh, playing these games knowing that you guys are subscribed and all that stuff and with that being said I guess uh, I'll catch you guys next time so uh, adios